something. This plate out of here. Now we've got a little weight off the top. There's some bolts around the perimeter and then I'm not sure what's under it, but we'll find out. There is spring pressure, so we'll let it off easy. spring pressure. It came toward me nicely. Alright, here we go again. Another stack of discs. These aren't even worn in. You can see it just barely has an imprint from the housing. This back side it hasn't even smoothed out all the way. It's not worn all the way to the edges. It's not even an even wear pattern all the way out. I don't think this made it long out of rebuild. Which is good. We've got fresh parts, I guess. And spring with plunger. Plunger aiming out. Take all these out of here. Every hole has one. These are kind of close over here. All appear to be exactly the same. That's good. Alright, these are going in our pile. And here comes our stack of discs. Look good. Everything looks good. Yeah, th this is a new stack of discs. This... See, they aren't even really worn all the way. They haven't, they haven't seated in yet. Just backed up twice, maybe. Before it failed. And there is a snap ring on the carrier here. So there's a snap ring on here, so if they don't, they stay on their own halves. Splines can't, can't slide all the way across, keeps it centered. That's kind of cool. Another plate. Another friction. That's what, one, two. Three, four frictions, and one, two, three, four. I think there'd be another plate on the back just so it wouldn't wear into this part, but it's pretty fresh. Most of these wet brake or clutch systems they work the same way. There's usually a plate all the way on the inside here, so that way you don't wear into your, your transmission or your you know, your hard parts, because the plates and the friction discs are uh, consumables. So you change those when you rebuild, but you want your case and all that to stay good. Um, so now we've got a planetary set up here, which is going to come out. Our first planetary. And gears. Let's check the gears. They all look pretty good. They look pretty new, actually. Don't have a lot of wear on them. Looks pretty good. And, let's see if the next planetary will come out. Now we get a shaft. That looks pretty darn new, too. If you look at it, the wear hasn't even gone all the way to the edge. It's still centered up. That's a that's a pretty fresh gear. That's nice. That's a new part. Use a gasket scraper. There's a pin. The head of it is under the uh, 
valve gasket here. The valve body was. plate this looks pretty good I'm surprised it didn't have a wear plate here it didn't this looks I mean it's got marks on it looks brand new it's got this on the back and yeah, no wear plate there either it's sort of strange more clutch discs it looks fresh all the surfaces are good I can see the machine marks going across the whole thing together. Once again it's got these snap rings. These carriers look I'd say these are probably new. You sometimes get on this style clutch pack um, the disc will wear in here. I can feel a little bit of an edge but it's pretty good. And Gears on them they look pretty good. That's good planetary. Another friction. Very new looking. Another wear plate. Also looks just about brand new. Another friction. Got a few flakes of metal embedded, but really not too bad. I'm sure that's a metallic. This may be part of it. We'll find out. The air plate. More friction. The air plate. Friction. And the air plate. That's the stack. Looks like this comes out too. There's an aluminum piece. Oh, this is the this is what pressurizes everything. So it's got a little seal on this inner lip here. Which looks pretty good. And a seal on the outer lip here. And it doesn't look scored up. Oh well never mind. It's full of metal over here. That's pretty junked up. Inner seal looks good. The outer seal... I might be able to return this. I'll have to see if I can get another one. There's embedded steel in here. He's like, over here it's good. But this is probably just the bottom where everything sat. We'll see if we can clean up the groove. I'm not going to hold my breath though. It's got to be in pretty good shape or it'll blow out. And yeah, we might have a major problem here. Housing itself is pretty gouged up back here. I'll see if we can get you a shot of that. Yeah. I'm going to figure something out for that because that's. That's chewed up right in here, right there. So what we got left is this bottom. I think we will keep trying to take it apart. Gotta come out. I can see metal all over that gear. I think we might have broken it free there. There's a lot of torque, I'll say that. Ugh. Yep, that's starting to move.
little non-conventional setup, but it works. Got the ratchet with the torque multiplier. You have the torque multiplier chained down to the bar that's keeping it from spinning. Good amount of force, put some marks in the handles. That thing's got me out of one pinches though. Pack for half inch. It's not all worn out. There's the nut. And the washer. And flange for the yoke. This surface looks decent. Not all pitted, looks okay. I'm gonna fold the seal a little bit without touching anything with the chisel. It's really, really jammed in there. Just loosens it a little bit. that old. Toast now, but... And there is a snap ring. snap ring, lock of wood to keep the shaft safe, there it is, there's the bearing, which a little rusty pattern on the inside, but I know this machine sat for a long time. Clicking. It's not really spinning free. So I'd have to assume it's got a bunch of metal through it. We'll put new ones in. Here's the shaft. Yeah. Uh, splines look good. The threads are good. That's a good shaft. That can get reused. We just took the shaft out of here. So the gear is sitting loose, so we should be able to lift this out. Take a look at it. There's the gear. Splines look good. There's some junk in the teeth. Metal all over, but this gear is still fine. Pretty much down to a case. And oh geez. There's a spacer for that gear. And hold on, you're gonna like this. There's a bolt. I dropped that one on the other side, that helped it pick up two. Get all these bits of bearing. That's just some of it. I'll take a magnet and dig around, but look how much junk's in the bottom of the case. All this stuff. No wonder it was junk. That was all tumbling around. These are all pieces of bearing retainer. These are keepers that went with these nuts. 
detonated. So, that's disassembly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It does help out. And leave some comments. If you got any tips, tricks, know of any of these machines kicking around, want to see something in particular, I'll try to show it to you. Until next time, have a good one. I'll get some parts, we'll put this back together.